SMS Sports Network presents the NRGL National Rube Goldberg League Energy Bowl. Isn't it nice when things just work? All right, welcome to the Rube Goldberg Highlights Show. How did, what did you think of that game, that Rube Goldberg we just saw? Well, you know what? I think that it was a fantastic finale. Right at the end there, when they had the they had the car up on that ramp, it had all that gravitational energy, and that car had a lot of mass. So that's a lot of gravitational energy since it didn't have a long way to fall. But then the trunk shut, and all that gravitational energy of that car converted right into kinetic energy, a different type of energy. Because when something converts, you have one type of energy becoming another type of energy. So gravitational converting to kinetic. That was the big finale. I thought that's what made that Rube Goldberg. Let's take a look at that on the Rube replay board. I see what you're saying. That car has a lot of gravitational energy, and that gravitational energy converts into kinetic energy as it rolls down the ramp. That's a lot of energy when you think about how much mass a car has. I understand what you're saying, but I think what really made that Rube Goldberg tick is the very beginning. It set it up for the whole thing, the transfers. You watch the cogs go on one cog into the next, transferring their kinetic energy, not changing the kind of energy, but transferring it from one object to another. That's what really set them up for that big finale. So you really like that kinetic to kinetic to kinetic? Yes, I do. I think that's what really makes a good transfer, and transfers are very important for a good Rube Goldberg. Let's look at the replay. There you see it, right there, that kinetic to kinetic transfer. That's what I'm talking about. That's what really makes a good transfer of energy. Now, let's not forget about that really awesome take with the tires rolling up the ramp. I mean, how does that happen, tires rolling up a ramp? That was the highlight of the game, was those tires going up that ramp, transferring their kinetic energy one tire to the other. That was fantastic. Now, that, that isn't the whole picture, though. You don't want to forget that there are probably weights in those tires, and those weights at the top of the tires have a lot of gravitational energy. So when that weight rotates down with the tire, that gravitational energy converts to kinetic energy. And then that kinetic energy bumps the next tire. So you, you gotta have the conversion in order to have that transfer of kinetic to, from one tire to another. So that's the big difference. Transferring energy is energy moved from one object to another. Energy stays the same form when we transfer energy for example, when one object 
is hitting another object, transferring kinetic energy. Conversion of energy, on the other hand, that's when energy changes from one form to another. In this case, energy stays in the same object. For example, a falling object converts gravitational energy into kinetic. Well, that's fantastic. I think you're absolutely right. Those conversions and those tires, very important. And you know what? It can't be a Rube Goldberg, I guess. If you don't transfer that energy from one object to another object in that chain reaction of events to make a Rube Goldberg, I guess if you are just reliant on the conversions, that's not enough. You've got to transfer that energy to different objects, too. Transfer and conversion, that's what it's about. We'll see you next week on Rube Goldberg Highlights.